wildfires uh, reach urban areas, that's when the actual challenge start because a lot of the household items and appliances and batteries and electronics that we have in our houses include some toxic material or pollutants that can eventually burn and end up either in the ash from the fire or actually a deposit from the fire on the ground and it eventually can run off after a storm event or a rain event and end up in our water system. The material and uh, toxins and pollutants end up in the ash and then it moves around uh, by through it atmospheric flows uh, from location to location so then it can have an impact in far distance from where the fire actually happened. Some of this ash can deposit in the soil. We are expecting hotter summers and actually longer dry periods and uh, fire season actually is extending um, over time, uh, which means we have more of these fires and a lot of people actually live in this area as close to wildland, so urban burns are expected to increase and actually that means that eventually can impact our water quality more and more in different ways and forms and different distances. We need to have some specific guidelines on how to monitor the water and how to understand what kind of uh, toxins and pollutants and metals end up in these waters after the fire and um, potentially have some sort of like a stopgap or some policy in place to make sure these are cleaned up or taken out of the system. 